It can sometimes be difficult to determine what's causing a brake pulsation. Um, with this vehicle, it's a 2007 RAV4. While driving down the road, as soon as you hit the brakes, um, after about five minutes of driving, you start feeling a brake pulsation. So basically the vehicle's shaking or shuddering while under brakes. Uh, a lot of times that just has to do with a warped brake rotor, but this vehicle, when driving, um, when it's cold, it feels fine. And then as soon as it starts to get warm, there's a shutter and the longer you drive it, the worse it gets. So I have a feeling that one of the brake calipers is seizing or stuck. So the easiest way to determine that, exactly which one it is that you're gonna focus on, is using a infrared temp gun. So what you wanna do is you wanna pick a place on the caliper that you can easily access at all calipers and measure each wheel. So this one's about 66 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna to go to the other one. So try to get the same spot. So right about there. So this one is 63, 62, so pretty similar, okay. Now we should see a drastic difference. Okay, so this one, it's a front wheel, so it's definitely gonna be hotter, all right? So that, let's go right there. It's 105, 100, it's kind of jumping all over the place. Let's call that 100, okay? Around 100, and let's check this one. So same place, and that is a 180. So 80 degrees Fahrenheit more or higher on this right front wheel. All right, so just from looking at that, I can tell right away, obviously this right front is the one that I'm dealing with. Now, sometimes you can even just go right to the wheel, okay, if you can't access the brakes. So this wheel is 117. Let's compare it to the other front. Eighty-five. Okay. So that because I was driving for about half an hour, um, there's a huge temperature difference even in the wheel itself. Now you can also try to go to the rotor, but I find that with these infrared um, detectors, sometimes going off like a glossy rotor, the reflection it kind of messes it up. But you can see just going off the wheel. So now I need to, um, I'm gonna remove that, uh, well, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm not gonna mess around, these are brakes. Really what you need to do is that caliper seized or sticking, I could try to take it all apart and clean it and lubricate it, put all that together. Um, but real, but to be quite honest, calipers are fairly inexpensive nowadays that I'm just going to replace it. I'm not gonna waste my time. Um, I'm gonna check the rotors. I might be able to machine the rotors, but the calipers I'm going to, just going to replace. The other thing I'm going to replace are the brake hoses. A lot of times the hose is actually one of the culprits or the issue. So hoses are fairly inexpensive. If you're replacing the calipers, you're gonna be bleeding the brakes anyways. You might as well just do it right the first time. So good idea, replace the calipers, replace the hoses. You might as well replace the pads while you're there and maybe even just replace the rotors. If you're not gonna replace the rotors, they have to be machined because this one rotor is definitely gonna be warped from all that heat. All right, so hopefully this helps people with diagnosing. Um, this is definitely the easiest way. These infrared uh, detectors are fairly uh, inexpensive to purchase or maybe you know someone that you can borrow one from. Uh, but yeah, so doing that definitely helps. If you do not have a temperature gun, um, if the temperature is really a big difference, you can also just put your hand right on the wheel. Don't put it on the rotor or the brake caliper, but if you put your hand on the wheel, if it's a really big temperature difference, you'll, you should be able to feel it just with your hand. Now, um, another way to determine if or which brake caliper is seized or stuck is um, jack the vehicle up, put it on jack stands, and then just put your hand on the wheel and try to rock the wheel or rotate it. So this one here, I can, barely move it. Okay, I have to work pretty hard to get this thing to turn it all. Now if I go to this wheel, okay, I can do that just with one finger. So that's what it should be like. Okay, one finger should be able to move. Now if I go over to this one, again, even with my whole hand, I have to put my body weight into it to try to move it. Okay, so it's very obvious that this is the caliper that's seized um, or the brake hose that's failed or something going on. So now I'm gonna take it apart and uh, fix it. But uh, hopefully this was helpful.